Hello everyone, this is the Insert Title Show and I'm your host, Wolf Strife. On this episode, I'm going to be talking about Battlefield Back Company 2. Yeehaw! <laughs> and uh, I just absolutely love this game. It came out in 2010 and it's one of my favorite first-person shooters of all time. I mean, that's right up there. Uh, basically, what happened was... Me and the guys weren't really in the battlefield too much. Like, I remember watching the commercials on TV, and it was a badass commercial. It was like a Apache chasing a guy on an ATV, blowing shit up around them. And I'm like, man, you don't get to do that in a video game. That's just a freaking commercial. But then, like, six months later, or even a year later, me and Oompy were kind of getting bored with playing Halo 3, and we were like, you know what? This game's only $20 on Amazon. Let's just check it out. And so as soon as Zumpy and I got the game and checked it out, I mean, we never looked back. We were like, holy fucking shit, this is awesome. So then I talked to all my friends into getting the game, you know, Biggie, Chili, uh, whoever else was still around back then. I mean, so we all got this game and just loved it. It also has one of the best first-person shooter campaigns of all time, in my opinion. I mean, I would probably put it in the top five, maybe. Uh, the characters from Battlefield Back Company 1 are back, you know, Marlowe, Haggard, Sarge, Sweetwater, I love those guys, and, uh, they're fucking hilarious and as awesome as ever, and, uh, yeah, the campaign is just excellent, the story's cool, the missions are awesome, hell, I think I went through the campaign in one day, yeah, like, that's how much I love the campaign, I mean, I just sat there and just boomed right through it in, like, eight hours, and uh, it was just an excellent campaign, a lot of variety. Hell, the uh, first mission in the campaign actually starts off in like, I don't know, 1942 or 1943 in the Pacific during World War II. You get to play as, um, I guess they were like Marine Raiders or whatever, so that was kind of cool. It was basically like playing 1943, but an upgraded version of it, so that was kind of cool. And then it jumps to the modern day with Haggard and all those guys. And uh, the last mission is awesome. Well, basically every mission is awesome. I mean, it's just got some of the craziest moments in video game history, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just an excellent campaign. In fact, it was so good that most of my friends actually went through it. So for them, that's uh, <laughs> that says a lot because uh, most of the time they don't even bother with the campaigns. So yeah, I mean, Oompy went through it. Chili went through it. Hell, I even think Creed went through it. So yeah, really, really, really good campaign. And then the multiplayer itself is excellent. I would probably put this multiplayer in maybe the top five, definitely top ten best multiplayer games of all time. I just love it. The uh, loadouts are kind of dated. I mean, it definitely doesn't have the guns that Battlefield 3 did, but it also has some pretty unique ones that didn't make it to 3, like the MG3 was really cool and stuff, but Battlefield 3 definitely overall, though, had better guns, like the assault rifles and sniper rifles were definitely superior, I think. But this one definitely had some good guns, like, of course, they had my 45 in it, so I was happy with that. But then they didn't have my FAMAS and other stuff, but uh, overall, the guns and the Multiplayer were pretty cool. The vehicles were awesome. You could drive an M1 Abrams. Uh, I think either a T90 or a T80 tank. Uh, armored vehicles, boats, helicopters. I mean, just everything. You didn't get jets in this one, though. Yeah, I just remember that. But uh, you got everything else. ATVs and stuff like that. So, yeah, the multiplayer was awesome. The DLC for the game was fantastic. Especially the Vietnam... DLC. I mean, oh my god, I love that DLC. I mean, it's definitely one of the best DLCs of all time. I mean, you get like five new maps, I think, and uh, each one of those was really cool. Uh, shit ton of new guns, like the AK-47, the M16, the uh, blooper or the thumper or whatever the hell we called it, the uh, M40 sniper rifle. Uh, what was the Vietnamese sniper rifle? Uh, it's probably the SVD or something. Uh, shotgun, flamethrower, you get to fly the fucking Huey. I mean, just every vehicle, every gun is different. I mean, it's just really, really cool. The environments are excellent. 
it's just an entirely different war and time period, so it's really, really cool. And hell, you can even uh, hop in a vehicle and turn the radio on and listen to a 1960s music. Like they had uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival's uh, Fortunate Son you could rock out to while you kill people. So, yeah, yeah it was just a really awesome game. I mean, uh God, I love the Vietnam DLC. So yeah, overall, I mean, this is definitely one of the best first-person shooters of all time. And I think uh, the servers are still live for it. So, I mean, if you want to get it, definitely get it. The campaign's awesome. The uh, multiplayer's awesome. The game's awesome. So definitely get this game if you haven't played it yet. I mean, this game, I can't recommend it to you more highly. And aside from Halo 3, this is definitely the most fun I ever had with my friends on Xbox Live. I mean, I remember trying to get some achievements with the guys. Like, um, there was an achievement for the Vietnam DLC where you have to knife a friend five times, I think. And the achievement was called Et Tu Booty, you know, in reference to William Shakespeare's play Julius Caesar. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. I remember... Me and Oompy joined the server, so it was just the two of us, uh, me on one side, he on the other, so that nobody else would kill us or, you know, interrupt us while we're trying to knife each other. So I think we were on Hamburger Hill, and we just charged towards each other. I think I was on top of the hill running down towards him, and we were just like, ah, with our knives trying to kill each other. So, uh, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, the last achievement I actually, uh, had to get because I actually got all of the achievements in the game. I actually needed the help from a lot of my friends. It was basically get 25 kills by uh, basically demolishing houses that the enemies are in. So, you know, like put C4 in the building, the enemy goes in, you blow it, house collapses on the enemy, killing them. So you had to get like 25 kills doing that, which doing that the legitimate way would have taken five years, literally. I mean, it would have been just insane. Because half the time, your C4 is going to kill the guy instead of, you know, bringing the house down on him. So, I actually got Chili, Oompy, and Biggie to uh, help me out on that one. And I am definitely grateful to them because it was pretty cool getting all the achievements on this game. Well, I mean, it's one of my favorite first-person shooters of all time. I'm definitely going to get all the achievements on it. So, yeah, there was, uh, there was some great times on this game. I really miss those times. But, uh, yeah. Maybe we can uh, have some great moments on Battlefield 1. Who knows? But uh, yeah, as far as this game goes, fucking play it. It's a great game. You'll love it.